Charlie Arena Stove kept Bill alert, for all knew him to be a left-handed drinker, leaving his right hand free to handle his pistol. As unpredictable as card games are, Bill found himself quickly losing to Massey, who lost to Bill the night before. Hey, $15 for me, Bill Harry. asked Harry for $15 worth of pocket checks. Yep. Harry brought them over to Bill and returned to the bar and his duties. Soon, a shifty drifter known as Jack McCall entered the saloon. Bill quickly turned while drawing his gun. Recognizing McCall as a newcomer to town, he greeted him with the friendly Jack. Howdy, and Jack! And posted his gun and resumed the game. Jack slowly circled the table, she, pausing she briefly behind each player and discussion. analyzing each hand. I took all his money and sent him home. All right, I'm in for two more. Give me a shot of that whiskey now. Uh, you've had enough. There's no such thing. Come on. You've had enough. While Bill's attention was on Massey, there was a friendly no. argument between them, yeah, and while Bill control. remarked, Massey, I'm taking you tonight, that's all there is to it, pal. All well, that money over there is mine. Right. Behind Wild Bill, suddenly Jack McCall... Take that! Oh! Don't run into this move! The get bullet him, struck him. Bill on the back of the head, coming out of his left cheek, and lodged in Captain Massey's left arm. It was discovered soon after the cards were Wild Bill's holding, there! Aces and eights, forever known as the dead man's hand. All from the saloon Jack except Jack Carl Mann, who was held at bay know, by know, McCall. Jack snapped the trigger of his gun several times and failed to fire. He then ran out the door and up the street. He was found hiding in a building behind a butcher shop. Later on in the day, he was tried in a minor.